All right, let's see what else we've got. Oh, holy crud. Uh, there are a lot of Prowler quests to do. Uh, some mining, some fishing, and MUFA stuff, okay? Um, let's see, what have we got here? Maybe do this one, Royal Rhinos Gone Wild. Deliver ten Royal Rhinos and five Aura Stone pieces. I could go crazy with the mining because uh, I actually do happen to need Light Crystals. And, uh... The marshlands is a great area to get them at. So let's take a look at the quest description here. I've had enough of being on the losing side of the Royal Rhino Royale. Try saying that five times fast. That's all going to change this year, and that's where you come in. Go out and get me ten. If I win, we can split the prize. That sounds uh, pretty good. Like pretty good incentive. Royal Rhino Royale. That's a tongue twister. And we get to take a look at the new marshlands as well. Yeah, I recognize this area, guys. This is the swamp from Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. I might as well grab these. Now, uh, let's see. I'm not quite certain where the bug gathering spots will be, and there's a boss in area 8, it seems. Oh, look at that. Bug gathering spot. That was not hard. And because this is a swamp, I imagine there would be a lot of bugs flying around. And I also want to take a minute to gather at these spots here, because you can get some useful supplies, like uh, barrels, which you can use to make uh, barrel bombs. Okay, uh, some of these items are useless, though, though like the uh, throwing knives. Old pickaxes, they're next to useless, but I guess I could get some use out of some of them. Sometimes you can even gather gunpowder from these spots, which is nice. Gunpowder you can use to make sonic bombs. Oh, I'm already full up of items? Oh, I didn't um, put away my items from the... Um, the unique mushroom is quest. Okay. That makes sense. Alright, royal rhinos, please. There we go. I'll have to replace something for them, though. Let's get rid of the old pickaxes. I don't need those. Shiny beetle. Okay, we'll get rid of the throwing knives. I wondered why the Apsnoth were making those noises, but no, they're just relaxing. Okay, more bug spots here. I do like this area. It's really cool looking. It's like a bleak kind of forest area. It's really cool, honestly. I like all the dead trees and the cloudy sky. I also like how it looks like the, um, like the ground is um, always moist. Yeah, really cool area. Very bleak and desolate. And of course the caves are pretty creepy. Now these are where all the mining spots are. So let's take a look and see if we can find any balmstone pieces. Macalidor. You know what? I'm going to kill that cat. Because no one steals my items and gets away with it. Well, the felvine, that's pretty much only useful for when, um, for when the melings steal your items, because they always go for the felvine first. So if you don't want them to steal your items, then, uh, you know, just carry around those. 
Okay, but I'm looking for light crystals. I would like to get some of those. You know, I'll take I'll get rid of the hot drinks because I don't need them and I can always buy more. There uh, doesn't seem to be any more spots. Let's head to area nine. Alright, now let's see what this area has to offer. I can't carry any more items. I don't know what that means. Well, it's not letting me uh, gather there, I guess, so... Eh, I'll get rid of the map. Nothing but mystery charms, really? And armor sphere. Ooh. I could go for that. Uh, warm pelt. I can always gather more. I don't really need them for anything anyway. Okay, this might be annoying because there are IO prey in here. And as we all know, they love nothing more than to interrupt item gathering. Uh, don't need disc stones. Aqua Glow Jewel, I don't need that. Okay, this place doesn't seem to want to give me any light crystals. Ice crystal, I don't need that. You know, next time I go in the Prowler mode, I'm going to empty out my item bag, or out item pouch, before I go on a quest. Oh, Light Crystal, nice. Um, I'll get rid of the small barrel. Oh my god, stop. Stop giving me useless crap. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to uh, stop with the mining. Oh, well, the subquest was Balmstone Pieces, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Those mining spots didn't give me any. So... I don't know. It's it's a subquest, so... If Balmstone Pieces were the main reward, then... Yes, that would be worrying. How many royal rhinos do I have? Seven. Or, sorry, uh, it wasn't balmstone pieces, it was aura stone pieces. Okay. Mystery solved. I don't see any bug spots here. Actually, you know what? Let's head over to area eight. There might be a few in there. I've always thought this area was a little bit unusual because it seems kind of out of place in the swamp. But uh, it's r it's really nice, actually. I do like the uh, the grass and how it like waves in the wind. It's quite peaceful here. Wait. Speaking of peaceful... It's not peaceful because Bulldrome is here. And he saw us. You know what? Why don't we try going after him? Yes. We'll kill him as the cats. And we get to hear the old... Uh, not the old swamp theme. I mean, it's an old theme, but it's not the theme of the old swamp. 
Honestly, when it comes to swamps, I do kind of prefer the old swamp over this one. Uh, it was ju it was a really cool area. It had lots of uh, purple mist that made it like a really ominous looking area. But uh, yeah, this area is pretty cool too. Okay, that's him being enraged. It's funny because every time I have the foresight to dodge out of the way of a charge... Ouch! He does the, uh, the wind-up before he charges, which means it wasn't really necessary for me to dodge as soon as I did. But every time I keep on attacking him, he does the instant one, like that. It's like... Bulldrum is the easiest monster in the game, but he is frustrating. Of course, these guys don't help. Yeah, that does not help, Bulldrum. Vespoid. You really had to do that? Vespoids are jerks. They're worse than the Benahabra, and I can't carry any more Royal Rhinos. Alright, I got a double double dose of the health horn there. Let's keep going after Bulldrome. There he is. The music faded away for a second. You know what time it is? It's mounting time. Come over here, Bulldrome. Nope, I didn't jump off there. There we go. Ride the Bulldrome! Okay, hold on tight. He's running around the area. I love this. Best part about Bulldrome. Alright, now time to hack at him. Chop his nose off. Chip his tusks. Make him into sausage. Ow. I hate that attack. Oh, I'm in rage mode now? I guess. He's close to death, though. Proof that Bulldrome is the weakest monster. A cat can kill him. Hey, uh, Bulldrome, get over here. Ah, oh, that move! And there I go. I gotta eat an acorn now. And he's dead. There we go. <laughs> eat acorn, kill pig. Oh, that, I completely forgot about my full item pouch. And these IO prey are gonna be jerks. Nothing but jumbo bones. Really, Bulldrome? You're gonna be that stingy? Three jumbo bones. Yeah, this bull drone was useless. It wouldn't have made any difference even if I did not have a full item pouch. 
Anyway, well, okay, we killed Bulldrome. It's, it's, like, it's like that time when I first when we first met him. It's like I, I told you guys, you can kill him whenever he shows up. It is not hard. Whether you're a hunter or a prowler. So yeah, we killed Bulldrome. That was fun. Uh, we got the Royal Rhinos I need. But no Aura Stone pieces. And that's that. Our first quest in the marshlands was a success. It's always nice to explore a brand new area. Ryu, why do you have that on your head? That looks absolutely redonkulous. I mean, I know the helmet I gave you is kind of ugly, but that doesn't give you the excuse to wear a barrel on your head. Maybe he's just shy. Maybe he feels the need to hide away from life. And I actually got some Bulldrome hide from the subquest there, so it wasn't a total waste of time. Okay, do we get to keep any of these? Haphazard, I wonder what that does. Ice resistance. Uh, I don't think any of these are worth keeping. 